Hey everybody, Phil from Sim Racing Bible here again. Uh, you may have noticed if you've been watching our Sim Racing Dirt Rally Pro-Am Rally Challenge that we made mention about doing a particular video about how to use the handbrake. So this is exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to go through uh, one of the stages and just kind of talk about the handbrake and how it was best to use it um, rather than like our AM Saul was using it where he was kind of not really using it to rotate the car. So we're going to go through some Happen bends and try and show you a little bit more about how the handbrake works and how best to take a corner and prepare yourself for using a handbrake. So we're in, in Greece, which is where we uh, had round two of our, our Dirt Rally Challenge, which is actually quite relevant because this is where Saul kept the handbrake on by mistake. So go check that one out, that was a funny one. So we'll, we'll jump into the stage now and we'll see if we can do some handbrake turns and we'll talk you through some exercises. So today we're in the Opal Manta. It's a rear wheel drive car, so it's going to be really useful for showing you how the handbrake works without kind of getting away with it using the four wheel drive system. So, not trying to set an amazing stage time here or anything, but we're just going to find some nice hairpin corners to try and go through. So, here's the first one coming up in out. So, let's approach it in first gear, little tug of the handbrake, release it early enough, rotate the car, and around the corner we go. So let's go through that one this time a little bit slower. So we're talking about setting the car up before you get to the corner. Now it's very easy to kind of go barreling into a corner too fast and then you're all, all over the place and you're not set up for the corner. So set yourself up early, get the handbrake on, release it just before you get to the apex. Because if you keep it on while you go past the apex that's when you over rotate the car and you end up spinning to the inside of the of the stage, so that's no good at all. The other important thing about um, using the handbrake is not to use too much throttle on the exit because if you put the power down too hard you're just going to spin the tyres up and you're going to over rotate that way as well so there's a fine balance between how much handbrake and how much throttle. So here's another, another handbrake corner coming up, so down to first gear, little tug of the handbrake, release it before you get to the apex and it's enough to kind of help the car rotate through the corner. So we're going to here now. Let's try this one. Get ourselves slowed down in time. There we go. This will be a little bit too much for on the exit there. We kind of lost a bit of time trying to find traction, but we've got away with it. Let's try it again here. So prepare yourself for the corner. That time I had to use a little bit of throttle to help the rotation, so I didn't hold the handbrake long enough. Let's try this one here. See, that's what happens when you do too much handbrake. The car just finds the, uh, the apex. Too much handbrake. Okay, so let's run through some, some little technical exercises that you can do to try and increase your understanding of how the handbrake affects how the car handles. So. What we're going to do is we're going to find a nice straight section of road. We're going to apply the handbrake with a little bit of steering lock on and we'll see what happens to the car and what it wants to try and do. So let's just get ourselves to a straight section. In the meantime, let's go around the handbrake corner right there. Just really slowly, it's okay. So, just up here is a, a straighter section just into a handbrake corner. So we'll come up here. I'm going to apply the handbrake and just leave it on. See how the car just wants to try and slide side to side. And that's what happens with the handbrake on. So if you do that a few times, repeat the exercise on a straight section. Just put the handbrake on and, and feel how the car reacts with the handbrake on. That, know, that will help you to know where you can actually release the handbrake when you need to. But it's that weight transfer which you'll feel through the force feedback which will help you to figure out where it is that the handbrake needs to be applied. We don't really need it here, but we'll just apply a little bit of handbrake just to kind of get the back out, just like that. So, you only really need to use the handbrake on really tight turns. So anything which is about 90 degrees or above, you would use the handbrake to rotate the car. Anything less than that, you don't really need it at all. So. You can just use that with throwing the car into the corner with a, a bit of a Scandinavian flick. Especially if it's rear-wheel drive, because it'll really exaggerate the, the weight transfer. Do so another handbrake corner coming up here. Let's get into first gear. Get ourselves slowed down. A little bit of handbrake. 
and just wait for the car to rotate itself enough, but also have enough grip on the exit so you don't really need to rotate. Let's try again here, this one's a bit tighter. And I'll just shift down to neutral. And you only need a little bit of a handbrake, so it's probably about half a second's worth of application for handbrake. It doesn't need to be on for long to rotate the car. Uh, that's probably even less than half a second, so it's probably only about a quarter of a second. But it all depends on the speed you're taking in and the amount of rotation that you need to get the car going through the corner. So there we go, that was our little video on how to use the handbrake in Dirt Rally. Uh, a couple of exercises for you to try yourselves. Um, first thing to do is to go and find a nice straight bit of road, put the handbrake on, leave it on, and just see how the car reacts and make sure you feel how the force feedback is, is working on the wheel and then work with that force feedback so that you don't um, try and fight the car going into the corner. So once you've done that a few times, gotten used to how the, the steering wheel reacts to having the handbrake on, then you can go find yourself a nice handbrake section. And this particular stage is, is very useful for that because there's lots of handbrake turns to, to practice on. Um, but the other thing to remember is not to leave the handbrake on for too long or too short. And it all depends on how quickly you're approaching the corner uh, how severe or how tight the corner is um, but really you want to be leaving the handbrake on for no longer than half a second because other than that you're just going to over rotate and you're going to end up spinning to the inside of the stage um, so anywhere between a quarter and a half of a second don't worry about trying to count it, just, just go by feel, just a, a short blip on the handbrake is all you need, you don't need to be on it for very long but it's just enough to get that rear rotating and help you get you through the corner quicker So. That's it. Have fun. Have a go with that. Try some of the exercises. Let us know in the comments below uh, if you have any other tips and tricks for using the handbrake. Um, but until next time, see you soon.